If you've ever wanted to take your violent outbursts on the street, chances are you've also been wondering how to run Brutal Room on your Steam Deck. Provided, of course, you've managed to get your hands on one of these unicorns. And I'm here to tell you how to set things up. Shout out to a number of Reddit and YouTube users who've um, helped me along the way. Your name shall be added post-mortem style to the description below. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so first things first. Um, I've connected the mouse to my Steam Deck because I don't really like navigating with the built-in touchpad. Um, I don't hate it, it just isn't very intuitive, I find. We're gonna gather a couple of resources to get uh, Brutal Room running on Steam Deck. Um, I'll put all of these links in the description below, the video description, so that should make the whole process a bit easier for you. So, first of all, head over to GitHub and uh, look for QZDL LC Ferrum. I'll just click the link I so generously provided. Um, head over to releases, so it'll take you here. Go to releases and pick the latest release. Uh, as of today, that would be uh, 3.1.1. Scroll down to assets, and what you're looking for is the x64.tar.gz file. Just download it. You can see I've already done that. Then, what you're gonna need to actually play Brutal Doom is one of your Doom WAD files, which is the file that contains the actual game and assets. So what you could do is, if you don't own any of the Doom games, you could head over to freedom.github.io and download any of the Freedom versions available. You could do that. If you own one of the many, many classic Doom games on Steam, the way uh, you could navigate to those is by going to your home folder and then look for .steam. If you can't see it, just click this little icon up here and make sure that show hidden files is selected. So any of these folders will, that start with a dot will be hidden. Um, so what you're gonna do is click on .steam, um, go to Steam. If you've ever had to mangle with the uh, your Steam installation on PC, the folder structure is pretty much the same really. So Steam apps, common, and I don't actually have the games, this is the 2016 release of Doom. So what I did was I, I grabbed them on my PC, but you'd be looking for um, the Ultimate Doom folder or Doom 2, and look for the WAD file, which is right there in the, the main folder. Um, copy those to any location really, just collect all your files for now. So once you've done that, you close this. Actually, I shouldn't have done that, but it's okay. Then go to your discovery store and look for GZ Doom. Um, so there will be, press your Steam button and X if you haven't done this before, and look for GZ Doom. Obviously I've already got this installed, so yeah, I would say install. I could launch it now. And what's gonna happen if, if you launch it like this? In my case, I've already put the, um, the aforementioned word files in the right place. I'll show you where to put them. But otherwise you'd get a, you would see a message telling you where to actually put those word files to make GZ Doom work. And so the location would be, once you've installed this thing and tried to launch it anyway, um, go back to Dolphin. That's the browser, not the emulator. So go back to home. <laughs> By now you should see the .var folder and scroll all the way down, well most likely all the way down, to org.zdoom.gzdoom. That's what you're looking for. And inside you'll find a, another hidden folder called .config. Open it, gzdoom. So I've put my plutonia.word file, my tnt.word, uh, doom.word, which is uh, ultimate doom, and doom2.wod and well plenty of what's to play with and then we are gonna head over to moddb.com and look for brutal doom so here we've got version 21 and just head over to download wait patiently go to your downloads folder and look for the pk3 file Ta-da! 
You could put them anywhere, because what we're gonna use is ZDL to actually launch the game once we're done. But I just like to keep all the files in one place. Makes it a bit easier to find them back, I suppose. Put them in here, I've already put it in here, so I'm not gonna do that again. And you could put any PK3 or mod files in the same folder, just to have them in one place. So once that is done, what we're gonna need is to create a little um, shortcut, so to speak. So to do that, what we're gonna do is right click, create new text file, call it gzdoom.sh. And what you're gonna do is put a bunch of text in there and this is pretty much what it looks like. Or maybe I'll just update the gzdoom.sh file. So next up, look for the previously downloaded x64.tar.gz file. Go back to our downloads folder, open it up. What you're gonna see is a bunch of files and the only file right now that we're interested in is the zdl file. Unzip it, copy, go back to gzdoom, installation folder, config, gzdoom, and as you can see I've already got it in here. And here comes the fun part. Um, it's not really that complicated once you know what to do, but that's usually how it goes. Click zdl. And you got two tabs in here. We need to set up a few things to get things running. Then first of all, select the close or launch uh, option. So this window will actually close when you start the game. And what we need now is look for the source ports. In this case, our gzdoom.sh file. So what we need is, as you can see, I've already added mine, but what she would do is click plus and select the gzdoom.sh file. Open, all right. To the right, you would add any of the WAD files that you wanna use. Then go to launch config, and this is the place where you would actually add any of your um, mod files. In this case, Brutal Doom, which in our case is the Brutal V21.pk3 file. And any other mods you would like to use, really. You can close this now. And then, to add GZ Doom to your or ZDL, in this case, to your Steam library. We'd open Steam, go to library, add game, add non-Steam game, and you'd be looking for cheesy doom, so on. In this case, there would be home, home deck, the, mm-hmm, app org.zdoom.gzdoom config gzdoom click all files scroll all the way down zdl open it will be in here selected and then add selected programs close it and then you could call it anything you like by just in my case i renamed the whole thing google doom go to properties and right here, you can change your name to anything you like. You could add some eye candy by adding an icon from Steam Grid DB, for example. I'll put a link in the description as well. Close it. If you want to change the uh, little box art, what you would do is right click, manage, and it would say add custom artwork, I believe it is. The other thing you can do is put a banner in here, custom background. In your case, it would say add custom background, so... And that's it! We close this, we turn the game mode, put in my favorites. Looks really nice. And the game runs amazingly well. So it'll open the launcher again, as you can see. I've picked the Doom 2 WAD file in this case. And I've added the Hell on Earth um, starter pack, which is not required, so... For convenience sake, I'll just remove it for now. Start the game. And what you could do right away is go to your performance options and change the TDP to uh, 7 or 10. I'm not, I haven't quite figured this one out. I want to change it to 10, maybe even 12. Um, just got to play with these settings, but it will give you much, much, much longer battery life. So you probably want to set up your controls. Go to customize controls, action, 
And uh, so the way I set things up is right trigger is fire, uh, left trigger is secondary fire, uh, right button is reload, X is open or use, and see what else. Jump is A, other, and what I did is open save menu using the B button, uh, open load menu, Y button, um, exit to main menu, the select button, options menu, start button. And I believe that is about it. Oh yeah, here, doodle doom, uh, options would include uh, right thumbstick to kick, uh, left thumbstick, there would be a flashlight because I don't use crouch really in this game. Uh, and then toss grenades, that would be the left button. Mystery solved. And D-pad left and right to switch weapons. And that's about it. Watch the violence. So. I never said I'm particularly good at this game. Got this weird glitch with my pistol that I went into that. Jeez. Come out. Oh shit. about that and uh, c'est la vie I guess as always I hope I've helped you in the best first world problem solving way possible subscribe if you like to because I believe that's what you're supposed to do anyway and uh, like the video if you truly like it algorithms and stuff anyway happy hunting and so long <laughs>